Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome to Jim's 5am club. It's a beautiful still morning here in Sydney. It's Saturday. It's uh, just before work. So I thought I'd come down here and punch out one more 5am club to kick off the morning. And uh, I just love, I just love the stillness of this area. There's a gentle, a gentle breeze just blowing. And as I mentioned yesterday, the breeze is a lot more balmier than before. Earlier in the week and last week, there was a bit of a bite to it. It had some teeth. But I'm down here in front of the Museum of Contemporary Art. Let me go over there and see if we can get a nice view through this installation. Don't know how long it's going to be here for, but uh, I'd love it to be here as a permanent feature because it's just beautiful. Anyway, looks like the tide's on the rise. Let's see what we can see through our magic eye. Ah, oh, it's just glorious. Just love it. And I do encourage you to come down here, come down to the Museum of Contemporary Art and uh, spend some time, especially when it's dark, because uh, you can see, you can see yourself that it is special very very special indeed anyway let's go on a bit of a walk and talk and what I want to talk to you about today is a topic that I've got near and dear to my heart and it's a quote that I heard from uh, Steve Covey a number of years ago which is very profound and something that uh, I think it's probably beautiful to get us going this morning and what Steve Covey said years ago in terms of habits is that a rising tide lifts all boats. A rising tide lifts all boats. And as you can see, we've got all the ferries over there parked up on the wharf. And regardless of how big or small they are, they all rise and fall, as do the jetties on the, uh, the height of the tide. How can we use this? Why is this important? I guess it's important in many ways, because what it suggests is, I guess there's, there are two main lessons, or two main takeaways from this quote. A rising tide lifts all boats. And that is that uh, your social circle, the people you hang out with, your family, your work peers, the people who you spend most of your time with, are in some way, shape or form your environment. And it's your environment influences you greatly, me greatly, our environment. Just like a goldfish swims in water and is not entirely conscious of that water, it just knows that it's, it's, uh, it's always been there and always will be there. So too, from our perspective, our environment, our social circle, is always there and it influences us in every way. It nurtures us, it gives us buoyancy, um, it uh, allows us to, to manoeuvre and to express ourselves. But in many ways our environment, our social circle can also limit us. And, uh, that's a great little analogy for us human beings as well, because we can be limited by our social circle or by the people.
people we hang out with. Especially, especially if that social circle is uh, is is uh, characterised by people who put us down, who don't believe in us, and generally don't make us feel good about ourselves. So there's an important lesson there for everybody to uh, be very very careful and very selective of their cir social circle. And as another commentator said, never ever leave it to chance. Don't leave your social circle to chance, because if you do, you'll end up drifting and, he and heading for the rocks. As tough as it may sound, as, uh, as um, careless and, and uh, I guess opportunistic as it sounds, we are responsible for our own lives and because we're responsible for our own lives we're also responsible for uh, blending in or surrounding ourselves by the, the best possible people that we can people who will let us or allow us to grow develop and become the better version of us or, 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 or me the other aspect of this saying, a rising tide lifts boats, is not only the social side where people can help you grow and develop, but also the habits that you choose to incorporate into your lifestyle. Because what Steve Covey said was that each habit that you have influences all the other habits. There's a magic glue. They're all connected. Uh, they're all connected and it's like a flywheel. So one habit, you turn one habit and it turns another habit, which turns another habit. And it has a snowballing effect. And the snowballing effect can either be a positive one or a negative one. So it's your choice. Um, I know when I was younger, and I smoked and I drank coffee and I drank alcohol and I socialized. I realized back then that there was a, uh, there was a connection between cigarette smoking and alcohol, coffee, uh, friendships or hanging out with friends and chatting with friends. And uh, they went together like uh, peas in a pod like uh, strawberries and cream that uh, as soon as you had a coffee then bang you just wanted to have a cigarette or as soon as you went to the pub and had a few drinks there you go you want to have a, co a coffee as well oh, sorry a cigarette as well not a coffee a cigarette and also when you're socializing with your mates or going to the races or uh, having a, a deep and meaningful discussion. Once again, out came the cigarettes. And it's the same with habits. The habits that we have in our lives, that um, one habit impacts another, one ha habit triggers, triggers another. So it's important if you can, if you, to look at it this way, to incorporate good habits into your daily regime, into your daily uh, activity plan, because it's those good habits that uh, stimulate, motivate, and help us keep all the other habits in our lives as well. So what are we saying? What's the hidden message here? I guess the hidden, hidden message here is to try and eliminate as best you can any disempowering or negative habits that you may have taken on. Remembering that the habits that we have in our lives are things that we've either inherited from our families, our, our friends, our schoolmates, our work peers, or it's, th it's things that we've picked up watching television, 
I remember when I was a kid watching television and you'd see the cigarette ads or the uh, alcohol ads. You know, you couldn't be a man. You couldn't be the Marlboro man unless you were smoking Marlboro. Or you couldn't be a sportsman unless you uh, drank beer. So a lot of that conditioning has, uh, has come into the world through the media, through our friends, through many other influences. But the good thing is, is that uh, we can change. We can change in an instant, we can change in a heartbeat, and we can surround ourselves by people who lift us, help us grow, help us improve, or we can incorporate habits in our lives which act as clues and triggers for other good habits. And when they're all added together, a good environment in terms of a good social circle, good family, a supportive family of friends and, and uh, relatives, and uh, a, a, an inventory of empowering habits, strong habits, good habits, then we can use all of these to be our rising tide to lift all of the boats, not only lifting ourselves, but giving us the energy and the, uh, the sparkle, the charisma to help others want to lift and to uh, live a better life themselves. Wow. What I love about Jim's 5am club is I, I come every day unprepared, unscripted, unorganized, and I just let it take me or take us wherever it wants to take us. And uh, my, my goal is to, to bring, bring you the beautiful visuals of, uh, of wherever I am. And I do hope one day that I can travel to Greece and continue my 5 a.m. clubs from Greece and from where, wherever I travel here in Australia just to uh, help you vicariously join me on this journey so that we can uh, be introduced and uh, see uh, what's available in the places that we live and also to complement it and supplement it with a positive, empowering message hopefully to be the, 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 uh, the tide that helps ri rise our boats, our families. So I'd like to finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. There's a manly ferry there heading, just came in, coming under the bridge. It's probably come from being, uh, uh, having a maintenance run. And it's uh, on its way to Manly. As you can see, those flags are just hanging down. It's no breeze at all. It's glorious. To all my friends and family, stay connected. It's important to stay connected. Don't uh, isolate yourself. Don't remove yourself from social media. Because I know it is tempting. But once you uh, disconnect from your friends and family, from your community, it becomes even harder to reconnect especially during these times where we're feeling a bit uneasy with COVID. And most importantly, um, surround yourself with people who are going to help you grow and develop and become a bigger and better and more empowered version of yourself. And also pay attention. Pay attention to the habits, the habits that you have and do an inventory, an audit of your habits and ask yourself your que the question, is this habit serving me? Is it taking me or leading me, drawing me, propelling me to the place, to the person who I want to be? And once you decide, once you get, get the answer, then decide what you want to do. Because as we said before, each habit, each person, that you socialize with can either lift you or bring you down and we know we all know where we want to go 
we want to be lifted, we want to be empowered, we want to feel good about ourselves, and we want to make the most of our today. So wishing you all the best. I look forward to coming to you again tomorrow from another location with another empowering message. And hopefully we can uh, join each other on a journey of growth and development, of discovery, and get through this life as best we can and look back and say that we did it our way and to be thankful and live with gratitude. Yes, us. Take care and until we chat again, bye for now.